The word cancer comes from the Greek word, karkinos, which means crab. It is so named because the blood vessel network that grows out to nourish the cancer tumor, resembles crab's legs. Cancer, is the most feared disease in the world, it accounts for untold suffering in many families. However, despite the advancements in medicine, cancers are considered terminal diseases, and from many, represent a death sentence. This presentation examines cancer from a different perspective, as it shows that this dreaded disease is easily prevented and reversed. Cancers usually present as swellings or tumors. Breast cancer represents one of the commonest occurring cancers, and is usually detected first as a lump in the breast. Cancer can develop in all structures of the body, and are usually named based on the organ it originated from. For example, lung cancer or prostate cancer. Some cancers do not form tumors, such as cancers arising from blood cells, or the bone marrow. This cutaway of bone segment, reveals the bone marrow, in which blood is manufactured. Shown are red blood cells, which carry oxygen to the body. White blood cells, which fight infections, and platelets, which function to clot blood in the event of injury. If genetic damage occurs during the synthesis of white blood cells, in the bone marrow, the result can lead to a rapidly multiplying cancerous cell culture. These cancer cells spread and diffuse through the bone marrow and the bloodstream, and are referred to as leukemias. Most tumors are not cancers, and represent growths that are not usually life-threatening, and are benign in nature. A common example of this, is the lipoma, or a localized growth of fat cells seen on the skin. Cancer growths are distinguished from benign growths by their uncontrolled growth rate, which is generally much faster than normal surrounding cells. At some point in the growth cycle of the cancer tumor, it recruits blood vessels to further its growth and expansion. Additionally, cancer cells can be liberated from the original tumor site, and invade adjacent tissues, or travel to distant organs via a process called, metastasis. Here, we observe the cancer cell using the bloodstream, as a means to move through the body. The cancer has now adopted a new host site in the liver of this patient. To confirm that a lump is indeed cancerous, it is often necessary to take a sample, or biopsy of the tumor, and examine it under a microscope, for characteristics that are unique to cancer cells. However, no one test is generally sufficient to confirm the presence or absence of all cancers. Listed here are several common tests that your doctor may require. Urine Cytology Examining a urine sample under a microscope may reveal cancer cells that could come from the bladder, ureters or kidneys. Blood protein testing. A test to examine various proteins in your blood, can aid in detecting certain abnormal immune system proteins, immunoglobulins, that are sometimes elevated in people with multiple myeloma. Other tests, such as a bone marrow biopsy, are used to confirm a suspected diagnosis. Tumor marker tests. Tumor markers are chemicals made by tumor cells that can be detected in your blood. But tumor makers are also produced by some normal cells in your body, and levels may be significantly elevated in non-cancerous conditions. This limits the potential for tumor marker tests to help in diagnosing cancer. Barium studies. You have this type of test if your doctor needs to look at the outline of any part of your digestive system. A barium study is most often used to look at the inside of the esophagus, or stomach. A barium enema, looks at the colon, and rectum. Bone marrow tests are most often done for cancers that are most likely to affect the bone marrow, such as lymphomas, leukemias, and myeloma, but it can be done for any type of cancer. If your doctor thinks your bone marrow could contain cancer cells, 
or needs to rule this out for any reason. There are different types of x-rays, including chest x-rays to show fluid, signs of infection or tumors in the chest, x-rays of a specific part of the body, such as the brain or pelvis, mammograms of the breasts, bone x-rays to show breaks, infection or tumors, barium x-rays that show the outline of body structures. There are also unconventional or alternative tests for cancer that may offer several advantages including the reduction of toxicity of the test itself. You may also ask your doctor to consider any of these tests. The prevalence and incidence of cancers are increasing worldwide. In 2007, 13% of all health-related deaths worldwide were caused by cancers. This is equivalent to 7.6 million persons. Today, cancer is the third leading cause of death worldwide. In the male population, the commonest cancers seen are prostate, lung, and stomach cancers. While in the female population, the commonest cancers are breast, cervix, and colon cancers. In addition to the physical suffering persons endure, as a result of cancers, management of these conditions is also very expensive, creating added financial burdens to patients and their families. It is estimated that the cost for cancer care in the United States in 2005 was 107 billion US dollars.